Hello folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. And you know, it occurs to me, this may be the last time in my entire life that I ever play Steambot Chronicles. Because, I mean, since I started Let's Playing, I haven't actually played a lot of video games purely for purposes of recreation. Um, I've been recording every time, because it's like, oh no, I'm wasting time recording this video game when I could be making entertainment for the... Yeah. The director's room is on the third floor in the back. Why, thank you, receptionist. But, um... And, you know, I played this one... You know, I played it through when uh, I first owned the game. In, uh... No, this is the third floor. Alright. Third floor in the back. This is gonna be Sir John's office, I guess. Time for a cinematic. You. I'll introduce myself as Vanilla. I'm Vanilla, a friend of Mallow's. Mallow, eh? That's so. I, I don't know. I've never actually met Mallow. Well, unfortunately, Mallow isn't here. You. That pendant. I gave that to Mallow for his birthday. Huh? Where the hell did you get that? I'll try to remember. I think a friend gave it to me. Friend? But that could mean... Hmm. Could mean. Why don't I tell you a little bit about Mallow? Five years ago, something happened. So he went overseas to attend school. You don't have to use euphemisms. I know that your son was responsible for the death of Chigurh. But you see, he's supposed to be back by now. Yeah. You are hoping this would have all blown over. I received a letter last month stating he would be on the SS Juniper Berry. The SS Juniper Berry? However, it never arrived. I still don't know exactly what happened. Pirates. Arg! They were on the Silver Road. In fact, I have my own suspicions that it sank. Hmm. If anything were to happen to Mallow. Well, it's nice that he's concerned about. If you do find out where he is, you must tell me immediately. Of course. Okay, I'll help you find Malo. I appreciate it more than you could know. Uh, can you tell me about my memory? So you can't tell me about my memory. Hey, look at this picture. Take a look at this photograph! The young man is... The young man is... Yeah, like it's Malo. Medical books line the shelves. Look, man. How come you can't, like, help me with my memory? Medical books line the shelves. But yeah, folks, um... I didn't want to believe it when I heard there was going to be no sequel to Steambot Chronicles. But, um... You know, I heard this, that, and the other, and eventually I got a link to the you know, official Steambot Chronicles website that has, you know, links that set up to Steambot Chronicles English, Japanese, or Korean, Steambot Chronicles Battle Term Tournament, and Steambot Chronicles 2. Um, you click on the Steambot Chronicles 2 website, and... Well, I'll tell you what, folks. I'm going to pause the game right here as an indicator to myself in post-production that this is where I should try and throw up an image of what is now the Steambot Chronicles 2 webpage. Okay, so you guys had a look at that, right? Now, clearly it doesn't help anybody who actually knows how to uh, speak Japanese because I didn't... Like, clearly I don't have the a Japanese language plug-in in my Firefox or anything like that. It wouldn't help me if I did, because I don't have the ability to read or speak or understand the Japanese language. I'm sorry. I just... I never... I, I didn't learn uh, that. But, um... I'm gonna go ahead and park my trot mobile here. And, um... I'm gonna go into the inn. Hey, you. Lady dressed in nice clothes at night. 
What's your deal? Well, well, aren't you a cute one? Grow up, little handsome. What the? Hey, you. Suspicious dude in black. Can you believe what he, what she just said to me? What about you, other suspicious dude in black? I don't know. I kind of like Nephroberg. But that might just be me. Are you going to say something about the furniture that's expensive? No. Of course, some of them can only work at night. That's part of the charm of Happy Garland. I work at night myself, folks. And I wear my sunglasses at night so I can... All the Times talks about lately is that accident in the tunnel. It's a hot topic. Yes, the hot topic guy. Welcome! Hey there, man. Let me make sure I have this letter in my inventory, now that I think about it. Okay, so literature, chef's outfit, a poster of Basil, that's still kind of weird to me, a letter that Dandelion sent to Connie. Well, I hate to disturb the ladies, but hopefully dress this sharp. I won't. But yes, you saw the uh, you saw the website. I keep jumping all over the place. Um, I don't know Japanese, but I am a graphic and layout designer by trade. And to me, the whole sort of bare text with no links, just black and white, uh, it looks like a rejection letter, sort of, you know? Yeah, everything's okay, Connie. I just have something I need to give you. Well, I'll talk to you first. Why would you barge into a lady's room so late at night? You're right. I like how you wear that hat. Connie. I should give her something. I should give her the dandelion letter. I got this letter from Dandelion for you. I had it over letter from Dandelion. Oh, from Dandelion? He gave it to you? You d didn't read it, did you? Of course I did. Of course not. I believed you, but I just wanted to make sure. I believe in the team! But I just wanted to make sure. This time of night, what's wrong? No, I just had to give you that letter. Jeez. Jeez, I should have friggin' opened the letter, don't you think? Man. Fine, I'm gonna go to friggin' sleep. Forget you, people. There's no satisfying these people. I shouldn't sleep in my tux. <clears throat> what clothing should I change into, though? Oh, never mind. That is a female desert hood. I cannot wear it. I can wear... This turban, though. There we go. Sue with a turban. Yeah, oil riches. It's a bed. I gotta sleep. I will sleep until the morning. I slept till the morning time. But yeah. I'm kind of down about the whole Steambot Chronicles thing being, uh, the, the sequel being cancelled, in case you can't tell. I obtained four UR through stocks, so geez, that might even put me in the double digits of UR. Yes! Just barely. And so on. Let's talk to everybody down here. Now. You guys aren't really going to have anything to say to me, are you? Alright. Well, it's morning in America. Hey, you. Little precocious girl. Yeah, I can really see that you're busy. What? Alright. Uh, well... I suppose since it's morning, I still have time, I can go over to the Garland Arena. Maybe with my new spiked ball, I'll have a better chance of defeating, uh, 
strongman uh, Samson. You never know. Actually, wait, I don't have enough money to uh, enter, do I? Nope, I don't have enough money to pay the entry fee. So, um, never mind. Happy Garland Station. I just gotta go to the train station. There's nothing else for I don't have enough money to dally around and do other things. Surprisingly enough. Oh, wow. But, uh... Yeah. So, I guess it's time to go, and we will be on a boat. We'll be going to another town, and we'll be on a boat when we get there. I'm gonna park this trap mobile right here. I'm gonna park my trap mobile and write myself a letter. Is that as fast as you can walk? Is that your best? Hey, friend. Quilt unblocked. Stumpsy stock is reaching all time low. The way we're going, maybe seeing some layoffs in the future. Oh. This is a different entrance. This is the freight entrance. These guys are just dancing around doing freight lifting and stuff. What's back here? Uh, nice empty freight yard. Uh, my head hurts. All right. So you guys are pretty much just wandering around in circles, huh? That's cool, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. Hey guys. You're late. Where the heck were you? What the hell are you talking about, man? I'll be logical mentioned the hospital. I stopped by St. John's Ward. St. John's Ward? Like the hospital? No, like the the protector of St. John. Did Sir John say anything? He's worried that Mallow hasn't come back from overseas. What? He's coming back here? After what he did. He said he's worried? Did something happen to Mallow? I don't know. We should probably hurry. Who are you, anyway? I feel like you're a member of the band, but I don't really know much about you. Excuse me. We need to load one more Trotmobile on board. You've got to be kidding. We're already packed full. Oh. What are we going to do now? I mean, not take my Trotmobile. It's not required for music. Jeez, this is because you took so long. Basil, I could kick you in the junk, but I don't know that you're old enough that it would Looks like bother you're walking you. to New Haven, buddy. Yeah, Flippy the Bird. That really looks like the only way. Would you mind? Why do I need to be a member of your band? How did this even happen? He doesn't know how to get there. I'll show him the way. To San Jose. Hey, hey, hey. what do you say? I will thank Connie. I could suggest Savory instead, but no. Come Where would I be us. without you, Connie? Just leave it to me. All right, perfect. Let's get on the train. Yes, all of us. Wait, no. Did you give Connie that sheet of music? Huh? What are you talking about? From Dandelion. Didn't he give it to you? Oh, I totally forgot! Yeah. What? What? You have it, don't you? I'll give them the sheet music. I will not ask for money. Are you talking about this? <laughs> yes. What a relief. I'm glad he gave it to you. So I have to learn a new... Am I gonna have to learn a new song? Be careful, you two. I'll be waiting by your Trotmobile, okay? This should be fun. Yeah, nothing like traveling around randomly with you for no apparent reason. I mean, hugs and kisses. There are no more trains scheduled to arrive until tomorrow. But... <laughs> Look, I know there are people that are in there in a train. Right now. Actually, while I'm out here, while I'm over here near this hotel, I'm gonna go talk to Algernon. Wait, there's a dumpster over here with a dude hanging out. Hey, man. Yeah, boy, man. This is... 
Yeah, I know, I'm not a bloody mantis. I wanted to talk to the dumpster. There's a trash can. I'm gonna guess fennel is still in there and that you're fidgety. She fidget if I talk to her. My grandfather exact lord. Now it's come down to this. I think he meant as an inspiration, not a warning. Yeah, I think I pretty much just need to keep talking to Algernon until he decides to do something about all of this. But I'm not positive. But yeah, both of their parents are, or both of their fathers, um, Rosa and Algernon, the star-crossed lovers of the two different hotel chains, are, um, you said you'd be waiting by my tropmobile, not in it. Ugh, women, huh? Can't trust them. Oh, I tell you what, folks. <coughs> gonna go ahead and uh, gonna go ahead and save the data, since we found out a little bit more about what's going on with the plot. We've advanced things a little further, and pretty soon we're gonna get on a boat. You know what? If I just keep on changing my outfit, I'll uh, be sure to know the. Uh, Be sure to know every time uh, which my most recent save state is. <laughs> it's all part of a master plan, people. Wait, when I woke up today, I didn't get a new nickname, did I? I'm still the gigantic clock. Wait, 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 no, no, let's get out. Let me check. Am I still the gigantic clock? of nicknames that I have. Oh well. I'll check it out later. But, uh, yeah, folks. This is, uh, this is Boba the Vulture. And, um, I believe I'm still the Gigantic Clock. And when we come back next time, folks, I'll continue to be the Gigantic Clock. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye now.